Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Rinku Talks, and this is a Black Desert official tutorial video. So, let's go over the important aspects of your UI. On the top left, you have your character's level and combat XP. Above that giant red HP bar, from left to right, are your skill points, energy points, and contribution points. Below your HP bar, you also have an MP bar, or an SP bar, or a WP bar, and even if your class uses MP pots, it still might be a different color, because apparently Shy Ranger and Archer use Nature MP, and apparently Dark Knight uses whatever EP stands for. But it's basically your MP bar. Below your MP bar is a bar for your Black Spirits Rage. And if your class uses another resource, like how Shy has three leaves, it'll be up there too. On the top right of your screen, you have a minimap which of course is very useful, but above that, you can also see what channel you're on and what time it is in-game. This can be really useful if you're trying to meet someone on the same channel, or even if you're just trying to catch the night vendor at nighttime. Quests will appear below the minimap, and the next quest for the main questline should be at the top with a black spirit symbol, assuming you have any main questline quest left to do. At the bottom left of your screen, you have the chat box. This is the main way to communicate to people in the game. But if you prefer talking in voice, there is a way to disable chat through ring menus. You have a ring menu for all four of your d-pad directions, and four more if you hold the left trigger while also hitting a direction on your d-pad. If you only put one item or action on a ring menu, it acts as a quick slot or hotkey. For example, this HP potion. When you put multiple items or actions on a ring menu, it pulls up a ring of options that you can choose from with your right thumbstick. By default, you can push the left trigger and left in your d-pad to bring up a menu that has the high chat option, but you may have noticed two options that I have that were not there by default. With scale UI, I can make the UI smaller for TVs with weird aspect ratios, or even just for smaller UI. With photo mode, I can hide all the UI to take amazing screenshots of Black Desert. To change or add to your ring menus, go to the start menu and select ring menu settings. The extra menu settings I added are in the menu section, but you can also add things like HP potions or combat skills. Since we already went into our start menu, some important mentions are the party settings to join or leave a party, the attendance rewards to see what the daily rewards are for the month, the central market now also has an option to be used anywhere in case you want to buy or sell something, and the battle arena teleport. Which, if we switch to another character above level 50, we can PvP anyone else in the battle arena without durability loss and with the ability to use PvP potions, which only cost one silver. If your character ever gets stuck while playing Black Desert, the escape button in your start menu will teleport you to the nearest safe location, usually being a road. If you're trying to find an NPC, you can open up the world map, hit down on your d-pad and use the right and left bumpers to cycle through different types of NPCs. When you hit the right trigger, it'll auto-path you to the nearest NPC of the type chosen. So, if all your gear breaks, you can find the closest place to repair. The last thing that we should look at is the settings button in the start menu. Starting with performance settings, we have three options to greatly reduce lag, especially at world bosses. Turn on character optimization, set the slider as low as it can go, which is 10, and turn on hide other adventures. Unless you want to test how powerful your Xbox is, in which case you can just turn them all off. The display and audio settings are pretty straightforward. If you want to change the brightness or audio levels, the options are there. In the alert section of general settings, you can turn off alerts. But the more important settings are in the miscellaneous section of the general settings. Probably the most important part of this whole video is this next option where you can turn off camera shake entirely by changing the overall camera effect to zero in the miscellaneous section of general settings. You can also change the appearance of your guiding fairy or even turn it off, and if people keep spamming you with party guild duel or trade invites, you can auto decline them. Lastly, you can change your keybinds, controller settings, and chat window settings in the interface settings section at the very bottom. That's it for this video. If you have any more questions about Black Desert, ask me live on twitch.tv slash Rinku Talks. And as always, I love you, and I'll see you next time.